Hello reformers and welcome back to Gecko Kujo. Now as you can see we are currently speaking to Kaguya as she has returned from the Oda clan and we are now about to find out what they said. Oh. Ah, he is willing to conclude a non-aggression treaty with us. That is good. Oh yeah, there we are. So now we have signed a non-aggression pact. And we gain some right to rule, which is very nice, but unfortunately we are not able to take Kaguya back just yet, because as you know, I do have a full party. So we'll have to worry about that a little bit, and it seems as though the Mogami clan is now offering us peace, which we are going to accept, I suppose. There we are. More right to rule is always good. I suppose we do actually have a hundred already, so we don't really need it. And... Aha! Someone is being rather sneaky here, isn't he? Okay. Well, this lord right here is wanting to siege Sakai, and I am actually waiting in Sakai at the moment, so I suppose maybe what we could do is wait and see whether this guy actually goes through with the siege, and we could get some nice defense going on here. That would be actually really cool to do. Unfortunately, I still cannot welcome Kaguya back, so she'll just have to wait a little bit and oh it seems as though the Miyoshi clan is offering us a peace agreement I am going to now dictate the peace terms and we'll see what we can actually get here I want Tanabi castle I don't want any money I just want the castle oh damn okay well that's unfortunate but yes I didn't really want to make peace with them anyway but it would have been nice to be able to actually get a castle for free but anyway it seems as though this particular lord is sieging us, which is going to be rather amusing because he only has 38, but it will give us a chance to test out our defensive mechanics now, because as you can see we are now on the other side of it, and it would be very interesting indeed to see how well we do considering I am not actually fully healed, and it may actually be quite difficult to actually get some kills right here, although I'm not entirely sure what's happened to the text box once again. This was actually happening with one of my other series, and it did not reappear for the entire episode, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. It could be something to do with the fact that Mountain Blade has now been updated on Steam to 1.158, that is the version of course, from 1.157. I don't think it would really make that much difference, but you never know. Some things can be quite fickle at times with certain versions, but yes. Hopefully that is not the case and it will reappear shortly. Now another thing that I have actually accomplished, and that is increasing the difficulty slightly. One of you stated in the comments that you'd like to see me increase the difficulty, and I have done just that. I have increased my damage taken by a rather suitable amount and we will soon see how that turns out it is now on normal so I am taking normal damage rather than half damage I believe so that was rather interesting to say the least and oh it appears Tribune Goemon is coming over here to assist us that is rather nice of him isn't it but now we will be moving and hopefully being able to take Kyoto so, that is our next target, as many of you would like us to become Shogun and everything. It would be quite cool to actually accomplish that. Of course, I am very forgetful, so I'll have to actually look back in the comments to see what I'm actually going to call myself. I believe it is Shogun Beartild? I think so. So, yes, <laughs> we will be doing that. If any of you feel the need to remind me in the comments of this video, then please by all means, no problem at all, thank you very much in advance for that. And anyway, we will now scout out Kyoto and see how many they actually have stationed here. Hopefully not enough to oppose us. I am hoping that Kaguya is actually going to reappear in time. Oh my, they actually have a rather sizable amount, 634. Hmm, okay, well... While we are waiting for Kaguya to return to our party, I will cut away and I will see you soon.
Okay, well, not two minutes after I said I would cut away, here is another peace offering by the Tokugawa clan. We will be accepting this once again, and now we will be dictating the peace terms with the Miyoshi clan, and I am hoping I can take Tanabe Castle. Uh, they are still never going to do that, and oh, there we go, we have a faction elimination, the Amako clan, because we took out their last vassal, I believe. That is very nice. Okay, well, all I am doing now is regenerating Bruce's HP for the upcoming siege, and he will soon be ready to mount an offensive against them. So let's actually just check it out now. 77%. We have some very terrible wound treatment, as you can see, or is it first aid that does that? Hmm, I really need to check that. Let's take a look here. Wound treatment? Ah, yes, wound treatment. We need more of that. Okay, so our medic, who is George, definitely needs to get his wound treatment leveled up. That is for sure. Oh, well, maybe we can head in now in just a moment. Yes, that seems fine. Okay, let's go in. Let's do it. Besiege the town, batter down the gates. It will take six hours. He is uh, thankfully very good at engineering, of course. So that's not too bad. I was hoping that one of our vassals would actually come to assist us here, but no such luck. Okay, here we go. I am still a little bit injured, but I don't believe that should actually carry over any potential effects. And thankfully we can now see the text box. As you can see, it has now righted itself. That is good. Now we can see my utter failures. And it appears my arrows are actually flying over the tops of them, so I will hopefully modify my angle of attack. Oh yes, there we are. Nice damage there. Took him down. And oh my goodness, I am already seeing some of our units in the walls. Oh my, okay. I think we need to get a move on here. And that reminds me, I probably need to level up some of our athletic skill. That would probably help us out quite a bit, actually. And, oh my, this is actually a layout of castle that we have never seen before, I don't believe. So this is actually very refreshing and rare as well. I have not actually seen this at all. Whoa, okay. Hopefully we'll be able to get more of these in the future. I'm actually wondering whether Marty has put in other secret layouts. I suppose mainly because this is Kyoto and he knows that it is such a substantial thief that this is the case. Because I suppose there are standard layouts for the others, but this one in particular obviously has a special place in everyone's hearts, considering this is where the Shogun started apparently, according to most of you in the comments. Of course, if I am completely wrong, then do forgive me, I am not very good on the subject of history. Well, technically not Japanese history. All other history is not too bad, although, of course, we concentrate more on English history <laughs> in this country, of course. But yes, I will just continue to fail with my archery. How amazing. Okay, I will stick to my heavy nodachi, or my balanced nodachi. I believe it's a balanced one. Could be a heavy one, actually, I think. Hmm. Not too sure on that. Let's do it. Go on. We will wreak havoc here, and then we will move on and... Oh, no. No, no, no. I do not want to be taken out just yet. I think I was hit by those archers over there. I think I may want to be a little more cautious. Considering our damage is on normal now, so... I suppose I should expect something like this to happen. But thankfully, my archery is actually not too bad in this case, as you can see. 5.1 shot difficulty is actually not too bad, considering... We have a lot of units passing by our vision right here and obscuring us a little bit. But that is my last arrow, and I was not able to hit anyone. That is unfortunate. Thankfully, my units are doing a great job. As you can see, Mei Ling has now advanced to level 21 and actually caught up with Kaguya because she was obviously away at the time conducting negotiations with the Oda clan. 
But I am just hoping that I will not be shot by any straight arrows. And maybe I'll be able to... Ooh, this is not a good idea. Yes, I'll be able to flank them, I was going to say, but... Something told me in my mind that I was going to be taken out in a few seconds if I continued along that path. So maybe what I can do is snipe one of these fellows. Yes, there we are. Nice headshot right there. Okay. This is very close indeed. Very tense. Come on. Let's do it. Take him down. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Got some more arrows. Unfortunately, I do not have a shield. So why am I blocking? No idea. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get some sniper action going on here. Oh yeah, there we are. We took someone else out. Not bad. Okay, let's charge them. Let's do it, even if I get taken out. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, well, maybe we should just fight in the main majority of our forces here. And hopefully assist them that way by being additional bodies in the fray. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. A lot of archers up there. Come on, take them down. Yeah, there we are. Took down two. I believe my death will be rather brave if I do indeed go down any minute now. I think we are going to be going down shortly. Please no, though. I would like to get some more XP. Of course, it's almost impossible to fight here, considering the top of the roof on the left there is preventing us from swinging accurately and swiftly oh no okay come on guys let's get in there come on we must succeed yes okay we're fine new enemies have arrived that is not too bad we are also receiving reinforcements or we have received reinforcements oh there we are now we have oh that is not too good that is a little bit late I must admit I was hoping for reinforcements a little earlier on I have to say oh no okay I think we'll be fine as long as I don't get shot oh no oh no oh no there he is that guy is shooting me oh no come on dodge it Yes, okay, now take him down, take him down. No! Oh no! <laughs> I actually blocked his initial attack from his fellow comrade over there, and then he took me down. Ah, that is such a shame. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I suppose it's not all bad, because now I can practice using the camera controls. I haven't actually had to do this in quite some time, but yes, we can now see our forces from a bird's eye view and take a look at the enemy forces as well. They are actually dealing quite a bit of damage to us from up here, or they were. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you're so contrary. As soon as I say that you're dealing damage, you stop doing it. Oh, how dare you. Okay, well, it seems as though our forces have now caught up to the enemy's reinforcements and we will now be vanquishing them as quickly and efficiently as possible and then Kyoto will be ours as you can see there are our reinforcements coming in in a long line of death and we will then be taking the death to them rather nicely <laughs> okay so only a handful of archers actually remaining here and there we go and you know the irony of this particular situation that we are currently in if I had waited to regenerate our HP a little longer then I would have been at 100% instead of 78% health and I probably would have survived so that just shows you doesn't it that just shows you that I am completely impatient and I should really wait in future to get our HP a little higher up before we actually head in. It is very important nowadays considering we have advanced the difficulty even further along so I will have to watch out for that in future and keep myself in check should I say. So let us watch as the last final two enemies fall before our might and 
We have then attained victory and captured Kyoto for ourselves. Oh yeah, very nice indeed. Take him down, fellows. There we go. Last Miyoshi Marksman. Oh yeah. And there we are. We gained 12 renown and 22 morale. Very nice. Of course, our casualties were rather severe as well, considering we were outnumbered so much. Of course, our difficulty on that, our damage modifier, is exactly the same as it has always been, so I don't think we really need to tweak that at all, considering we did actually lose quite a few. We would have had a complete bloodbath if we had increased it. So, there we are, anyway. We took out a large amount of them, and now we have to deal with them in the streets! So, I actually forgot about this. But at least I now have my refreshed amount of ammo, and we are now able to shoot them very easily, I hope. Yes, there we are. Come on, take them down, do some damage. Yes, there we are. Yes. Yes, okay. Wow, one shot, one kill here, by the looks of things. Not bad. Apart from that one, of course. And maybe we can take out that last archer? Nope, okay. Well... Our units, I suppose, need a bit of XP as well, so I will leave him to them. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay, so, the town center. Let's do it. No, oh no, careful. Take him down, block a few things. And, oh my, okay. Shimazu Officer is a complete boss by the looks of things, okay. <laughs> I don't think I even needed to help, did I? Maybe I did. Okay, well, another 12 renown. I won't complain about that, that is for sure. Very nice indeed. And now we can take as many units as we possibly like, as you can see. Wow. This is actually very nice. Let's just rescue a lot of Oda units, because they are currently in a non-aggression treaty with us, and I don't think they will affect our morale that much, so let's do that. No! Okay, well, I don't have any other space, so there we are. That is very unfortunate indeed. I probably should have made more space before we actually attempted this, but I wasn't entirely sure whether we would with a decreased army, so there we are. Okay, now we can loot a lot of items and sell them, of course. And there we are. Very nice. Okay, so who do we give this to? We are going to give this to ourselves, of course. This is Kyoto, after all. And there we are. We are now Shogun Bertild, I believe. I will not be changing my name until the next episode, just so that I can check your comments to make sure that I am accurate on that. And then we will see the might of Shogun Bertild and friends, <laughs> of course. And there we are. Now we will just level up all of our units. And Mei Ling has also leveled up. I forgot to actually level her. So let's do that just after these couple of units. Oh my. Okay, a lot of units here, so I will cut away very shortly. Okay, so there we are. Everyone is leveled up apart from Mei Ling, and we are now going to see what stats she needs to get. And I think we'll level her strength once again, maybe. Get some more power throw. I think that would probably help her out. And now, some two-handed weapons, one-handed weapons. Why not? That seems fine. And I believe that is going to be it. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.